Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel and talking about Wi-Fi, there's also something about Wi-Fi speeds and connectivity. In uh, today's world, most of our Wi-Fi devices, when they're uh, really recent, have multiple ways of connecting and have different protocols and different frequencies. The most popular Wi-Fi devices have the way now to connect 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. And this goes a lot with also the um, protocol that you're using or what type of Wi-Fi you're using. So there's, of course, you know, Wi-Fi G and N and A, C, A, X and so on. Um, you'll have to know what type of connection your router is capable of or your modem is capable of. But when you have a device that is compatible with different um, protocols, one of the things that can happen is sometimes your Wi-Fi adapter might, for some reason, either the Wi-Fi adapter itself or your router might actually push you to change the type of connection. So when you right click on your Wi-Fi device in Windows and go into Network and Internet Settings, now here I'm on Windows 11, but you have the same availability on Windows 10, you will in the uh, options on clicking Wi-Fi and clicking um, your available device properties often have the speed of connection. So here my uh, information says that my network, 5 gigahertz network connection is at 886 and 886 megabits per second. And that is up and down. So that means I'm connected at a very fast speed. I'm connected on 5 gigahertz, which is the frequency range I want to use. But for some reason, you might be pushed down to the network 2.4. The speeds might drop drive you know, really, really fast. And if you're on a really fast internet connection, you'll see the performance drop. And you'll see maybe even a slowdown of your internet connection. Or if you do a lot of, um, you know, online virtual meetings like Zoom or Skype or watch videos, you might actually see some stuttering, see some freezes or pause because of the buffering. Now, there's a way to actually lock your device to connect only to a specific network. And that way, if you have modern devices, is simply to right click your start menu, go into the device manager, and go under your network adapters. Here, you will see the different adapters you've got. And click on the one that you're using. I'm using a TP-Link wireless USB adapter for connection. Here, you will go into the advanced feature and at the bottom you'll have wireless mode keep in mind that this panel will be different for some could have this option if your device does not have multiple connectivity uh, possibilities you might not have the wireless mode available and of course each device has a different menu but you do if you do have wireless mode the value is automatic. That means it connects to whatever it can connect to whatever speed. If you're always at home, never change, never go anywhere else, because this is important to understand. If you change this, you might be unable to connect when you go somewhere else because you'll be um, excluding your device from connecting to other types of networks. But if you're only using it at home, you never use it anywhere else, then what you could do here is click the auto and choose the mode of connection. So you'll have different modes, but if you want to force it to always be in 5 gigahertz all the time, when it gives you the option, choose 802.11ac. This is a mode that's available only for 5 gigahertz. This is a mode that blocks in basically your connection. It's going to tell the adapter you can't connect to anything else but AC <laughs> Wi-Fi, which is, I believe, Wi-Fi 5, as it's called today. And that also forces your device to always be on 5 gigahertz because it's only available on 5 gigahertz. So you'll have, hopefully, always the best speed and connectivity. And there won't be any switching around because your device cannot connect to anything else. 
So once you choose it, you click OK. And you, of course, will always be connected to AC. So you can play around with that and lock down your Wi-Fi adapter to a specific connectivity. AC and AX are the most modern and fastest. And then you have N, just to give you an idea. N is the third choice that you could have if AC or AX are not available. Avoid A, B, and G, which are very old and slow protocols for internet connectivity. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.